Hi guys, how you doing? This is Sasha Chapman, your Tech Jedi. I am with Chapman Realty Group of Keller Williams, Johnson County, and I want to follow up with another video here about the Matrix. So in this video, I'm going to show something, some basic skills of things you need to know how to do in the Matrix, um, but let's assume you don't know how to do it, you're a brand new agent. So let's walk through what the Matrix is. All right? In this video, I will show you guys how to use the Matrix, how to find um, different homes with the Matrix, what that means, as well as... Um, how to create a CMA. Okay. Real quick, we're just going to go to Matrix. This is your home page. There's lots of other apps and tools you can actually use here. Um, I'll post a video up on some of these apps and tools later because I, I use them and they're excellent and they're wonderful. But real quick, go to Matrix. Let's say you just want to find a home. No, no, no. Before we go there, let me explain your summary page. This page here, guys, is really your page. You can customize and move it around how you like. Um, and it's when you start saving information, it's usually saved out here. Your hot sheets, yeah, I have one I created for Keller ISD, one of the best school systems in uh, the nation. So I am biased, but still, love it. And so here's one here. If I want to look up um, different lots and acreage, I can, leases, you name it. Um, new listings onto the market, price increases, price decreases, all these th different things are already on here if you want to watch the market. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. So first, let's go to hover over search, go to residential. I always go to detailed. I just do. Okay. You can go to quick and get what you want just as quick as possible. But let's say you have a client who's looking for a. Let's let's go with a four bedroom. So let's say we're going to go with a four bedroom. Right, and but she made a stipulation has to have a first floor master. Obviously, you can click that here. Two baths, um, and they need a big house. Let's say 2,700 square feet or more. If you put 2,700 plus, there you go. Plus means and more, obviously. Um, but they need to stay. Let's say they want to go over 400 thousand dollars. Okay, so I would go zero, and I always go a little bit over. You know, we all do. 420 because you might be able to get that down a little bit. Remember, this is in the hundreds of thousands, so don't put 400,000, although, because it will give you nothing. As you're doing that, okay? Oh, let's pick a city. I'm sorry. Let's pick, um, let's go Fort Worth. My city. Let's go Fort Worth here. As you're doing that, it is obviously going to tell you how many down here, um, cry, um, how many <laughs> matches that you actually have. So there it is right there. Now, I will sometimes just take out the active kickout contingent and whatnot because if the house is already going through contract, do I really want to look at that? Depends on what you're looking for. All right. Let's say you want a newer home. Okay, it's 2000, I'm going to call it 2018 at this point. Let's say we just want houses built from 2010 and up. All right, we don't want anything smaller. You see, as you start narrowing the criteria, you get more and more. Stipulation, they have to have a two-story. A two Let's say they have to have a three-car garage. Let's get that number down a little bit more. All right. Now, we went from 92 to 20. You see how that changes greatly with the three-car? Pool, not important. Let's say yes. Let's say they need to have a pool. Oh, zero. That's a problem. Let's say pool, no. Because you know what? If we say yes, we're going to have to bump that number up a little bit more. All right? Let's work with that. But you see how you can start changing from here. Look, school district, lots and acreage. Um, you can take out all of this. Um, just say it has to be single family. It has to be a house. You're not looking for a condo or whatnot. You know, so you could take different things out. Uh, if you want to just look for new construction, go to build it here. Um, you can look at different common features here. If they are against HOAs, you know, you can take that out, right? Right here, you don't have to do HOA. Or well, let's say there's a field you haven't figured out yet. I'm going to keep going on a couple of things. I've added these fields here, right? Um, so if I want to add a field, I'll just show that real quick. I can go in here and start typing um, a particular field, let's say... Uh, acreage, which is already on there, I'm pretty sure, but fireplaces, so let's take fireplace. But I could add in here and add that field to be at the very bottom. I'm not going to do that, but if I did add it, it would show up on the right-hand side like the other was, and they would be down here. 
to add in my search criteria. Okay. Now that I've decided what I want, I am going to go to results. A lot of people just try to click on the left hand side. Make sure you click results. Okay. Now this is showing me what I need, what I want, but oh, okay. I'm not really sure. There's a couple more things I want to bring in here. Let's say I'll bring in days on market. So if I click over at the top, insert a column. I always put in a couple things. Days on market. Oh, let's do that again. Insert a column. DOM for days on market, or I'll put both of them and see if it's been up for a while. Help you with negotiation tactics, right? And so now it puts like so. Okay. But let's say you can always grab this and you can move these, these around. Oh, I didn't want me to move it. Okay. And I can put that in front. And now I'm looking at, okay. Alrighty. I see days on market. And I want to really get my client a deal. Let's go for these ones that have been sitting out here for a while. Right. And I could go off and I could do that. Real easy, real simple. Easy peasy. Right. Now. This symbol here means there's an open house. So if you just want to search what, what houses had open houses, I recommend using your KW app, but you can do this as well if you're here in the matrix already. So this is real simple what the matrix is. Let's just click into one and we'll go over what else is in the matrix. Obviously, if you click through here, you can toggle through your pictures. Um, if they have a video, you can check that out. Always make sure you go through to see what they have at the trend, transaction desk. Now, let's say you, you're, you're trying to figure out what the taxes are on the property. You can always go here to taxes. You could have did that from Realist Tax, but it's going to take you to the same location. Click on that, and it will take you to Realist Tax. Real quick, like. And it'll give you this information real quick, a quick summary of it. If you want more information, you can always launch and go into Realist Tax. I'm not going to go over that today. Um, it's real simple to use. Sometimes you can pull comparables from there. It's really easy, really simple. Um, let's real as tax. So these are the very basic. Let me just go over a couple things here. Um, you're going to have the information here that describes the property. Okay. One thing I always make sure I pay attention to is a the schools. Um, double check that some agents do well with that. Some do not. Some just say, Hey, buyer to verify schools. It don't really work like that. You still need to ver verify as a buyer, but you as a listening agent are responsible for putting the correct information into your matrix, okay? Don't be sloppy, basically. That's what I'm saying. Um, always check for the HOAs. Sometimes people leave that blank too, but this was a good one, whoever this is. Thank you. Um, and you'll find that information. And, you know, I love it when people put the, the phone number in there. It's so much easier to verify what's going on with that, okay? And you can. This is where you can find your specs on the home. Now, if you're an agent, you're carrying your own measuring device. Or I hope you are at least, uh, because we like to round up on the size of these rooms. Sometimes, sometimes we do. All right. And private remarks, real quick. Now, private remarks is only for us. The public cannot see this. So when I put a listing in, for example, um, I don't put my buy my seller's name for everyone to see all over the internet because when this goes on the internet, everything populates out there. No, I'll put C private remarks and put my client's name here. So only the realtors can see that. So if you need to complete a transaction, like, oh man, this guy doesn't have it in the, well, yes I do, it's right there. Okay, and you can see that. Uh, real quick, here's your contact information for the other agent, uh, BAC, buyer's agent commission, so you can see how much you would get paid for it. And then you can see what all the showing instructions, iBox, or whatever they have going on. Okay? And that is pretty much it. Uh, what you need to know about a property uh, in, a, in a nutshell. So I'll do another video to show you guys how to do a quick CMA um, and how to, how to do that. So I am Sasha Chapman, your tech Jedi. You can reach me at 817-668-0311 or 903-293-1028. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please. Um, like and subscribe to, to me so you can get notification when I put more content out there. If you're on KW Connect, please follow me for the exact same reason. Sometimes I put more information on YouTube, more of my marketing information goes out there. So please check us out. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day.